Hi, how's it going, everybody? Um, hope y'all are enjoying quarantine. Still outside my house, can't leave. You know, that's how it is right now. So, we're probably gonna get a second wave of this thing over, maybe around, maybe like when the summer's over. So, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to go to NTC in the fall. So, yeah, that's how things are right now. So, these ways I'm trying to get my hair. I don't think I'll be able to show them off. You know what I'm saying? These ways I'm trying to get my hair. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to like show them off these ways I have in my hair. You know? So, yeah, in this video, I just want to make it quick. I just took, you know, I just want to make it quick. And um, I'm about to go to sleep right now. In this video, I just want to discuss my interest in martial arts. You know, the martial arts I love, you know? So, in this video, I want to talk about the reason why I like martial arts. So the reason why, the main reason why I like martial arts is for two reasons. Fitness, no, three reasons. Fitness, self-discipline, and um, self-defense. So fitness and self-discipline are the two most important aspects I have for wanting to do martial arts. Let me explain the self-discipline first. Self-discipline, I think that with a traditional martial art like ta Taekwondo or Tang Soo Do, which I'm trying to do when this quarantine stuff is all over, hopefully maybe by 2021, maybe 2022, depending on what happens. Um, with a traditional martial art like that, I feel that it can teach me some valuable ethics, some valuable things I need to know about. The treating people around me well, you know, being responsible, you know, being good, having self-control over, over, over the things in my life, having self-control, you know, being responsible, having self-discipline, you know, I just feel like martial arts can help get my life in order. I've heard so many good things about traditional martial arts. So this this martial arts dojo that, that I'm considering that's right near me that I'm considering going to. But if that doesn't work out there, um, I'll just go to traditional. There's this kind of like place where it's MMA. It's kind of like they teach multiple martial arts. And that's what I'm trying to go to. Um, they teach multiple martial arts. They teach Taekwondo. They teach boxing. They teach judo, they teach jujitsu, they teach grappling, striking, all these different martial arts. They teach you how to use swords. So when all this quarantine stuff is over, I'm hoping I can go there and start doing martial arts over there. If it doesn't work over there, I feel that it doesn't have what I really want. I might go to this other place called um, White Tiger Taekwondo in Cary, North Carolina, because North Carolina is a state that I'm living in. I'm not going to give you my exact location, but um, I live... In the triangle, so yeah, you'll find if you, you can find me somewhere, but I'm not gonna give you my location of where I live exactly. Um, uh, if it doesn't work out with the TKF MMA, that um, tactical kung fu and mixed martial arts, that's the other place I'm, I want to go to. That's my first option. The White Tiger Taekwondo is even my second option because the White Tiger Taekwondo, if I keep progressing, if I keep going to classes, eventually I'm gonna get my yellow belt, eventually, I'm gonna keep on going up in the belts. Eventually, I'm going to start learning how Keto and Wing Chun. So, um, yeah, in regards to martial arts, I like, um, I do more. I'm all, the other reason why I do martial arts is because of fitness. So, I want to become an athlete. I want to become an athlete because I want to play multiple sports and do multiple stuff in my 20s. You know, it's still not too late to do it. I'm still 20. I'm still young. So, I feel like it's not too late. So, um, I want to play elite level amateur basketball if I can, you know. I'm trying to see if I can get some success. Even if maybe I don't win a championship or anything, I want to at least be good and be helping my team win games. Even if we lose, I'm always like one of the best parts, you know. But I also don't want to be a loser either, so I want to have that winning mentality, which is why I'm trying this, this book called The Mamba, Mamba Mentality by Kobe Bryant. I'm trying to buy this book called The Mamba Mentality by Kobe Bryant to help me, you know, have the mentality to always want to win, to always want to win every time, always win games, Always have to drive that work ethic to get better and win, even though it's just amateur basketball. But if it's elite, if it's on elite amateur level, then most of these players, they probably played in high school. And I, and I never played in high school, so, yeah. You know, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to keep up and go to the tours level of, of playing at like a high school player, but I want to try my best. I'm not, I'm not going to give up, you know. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Even if it takes seven, eight years, I'm going to try my best. I don't know how, how hard it's going to be. But I really, really want to try. Even if I don't get until the age of 30, I'll still try my best. I don't think your body really breaks down until the age of 40. So maybe I'll aim to be the best 45-year-old basketball player ever. If, if you know, if elite amateur basketball doesn't work, 
I'll just want to be good at basketball, period. Pick up basketball, you know, I'll just play some people, play pick up basketball for fun. And I just want to be good. I'll just shoot hoops and I'll just do it for fun, you know. But what will really matter me is if what really, the dream I really, really want is to play elite amateur basketball. I don't know if it's, if it's going to be possible to do that and do everything else I'm doing at the same time, you know. Because what I want in the future is, um, um, I like the martial, so getting back to what I was saying, I like, I want to play elite, elite amateur basketball. I want to, I want to play, um, I want to be really good at soccer, whether it's really, whether it's pickup soccer or some amateur level soccer, maybe not the elite amateur soccer level, but some amateur soccer level period, whether it's, you know, a small league or organized games, you know, stuff like that. That's what I want to participate, participate in soccer. You know, I have no, no desires to go pro, semi-pro in basketball or soccer. That's too late. I'm never going to reach it. You know, at this life, I won't reach it. But I like to read elite amateur level basketball and at least be competent in, in that. And when it comes to soccer, I like to reach some type of decent amateur level, not the highest, but a decent level. And, um, yeah, so that's the reason why I also want to um, participate in martial arts. I feel like martial arts can give me that flexibility. Martial arts can help me stretch martial arts and give me that explosiveness and athleticism and help me train my body to push myself to absolute absolute limit. It help me push my body further so I can become an athlete. So I can have that explosive, explosive, explosiveness, explosiveness I need to be good at amateur basketball at the most elite level and amateur soccer, you know, not so elite level, you know. I want to become an athlete. I want to be fit. I want to be the fittest. I want to stay fit through my 50s and my 60s. I don't want to get fat. I don't want to ever be fat. I also might have a desire to be the best 45-year-old basketball player, be a 45-year-old player that can do things that most people, even some NBA players, can't do, you know. Once they're past their prime, they can't do anymore, you know. I want to be the best 45, non-professional 45-year-old basketball player ever. I mean, that's like a pipe dream, but, you know, maybe if I say it now, it will come to pass. I have 25 years to do it, so if I have 25 years to do it, I can do it. So that's the second reason why I like martial arts, increase my fitness, turn myself into an athlete, turn myself into an elite level athlete. Right now I'm having some pains in my legs, so I'm almost kind of scared. I don't want to pop my knee or turn my ACL, so I'm really, really taking it easy on my legs. I haven't played any basketball. When tomorrow, I'm going, when I go out tomorrow, when I do play basketball, I'm going to take it really easy on my knees, on my legs, because I don't want to pop them or pop my hamstring. Because I'm not an athlete, so who's going to pay for my insurance, you know? I'm trying to keep my legs safe. I'm trying to keep my legs strong. Keep them good. Keep them healthy. If I make one little mistake in basketball, if I twist or turn a little bit too fast, I can turn my AC on. That'll be it, you know? I really don't want to do that. So I really need to be careful about the way I play. I need to do all the research I can. Consult a physician. Consult a coach on how I can not tear my ACL. Yeah. That's my goal. There's this, there's this door in my in my backyard, my backyard that I keep forgetting to close. I keep forgetting to close that door every time, and now the door is banging. So I'm sorry if you can hear it. So yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna keep on going to say that you know, um, I want to become an elite level athlete. I hope I don't pop my hamstring or kill my legs. God, please don't let me kill my legs. You know, the third reason why I want to learn martial arts is, and this is the least reason. Is self defense. So in life, you may enter situations, God forbid, then where an attacker may come to attack you and wants to take stuff from you and rob you and do stuff from you. And most times, you know, I suggest maybe if the guy has a gun and he, or if you don't know he has a gun or if he has a knife, then just give him your stuff. If he's asking, you, give me your phone, give me your wall, give me this. I suggest just give it to him if you if you ain't got n nobody with you, especially. Like, if it's two or three people surrounding you and they got knives or guns, or if it's one person with a knife or a gun, the odds are not in your favor. So, I'm going to just give it to the guy. I'm just going to give my, give my, you know, give my wallet, give my phone, give whatever, give whatever I need, give him whatever he wants. Give him my, my, um, give him my wall, give him my money, my credit card, my phone, my jewelry, my watch. That's what I'll do, you know. I'll have to do it because it just saved my life or just to, I can't fight someone that has a gun. Or has a knife. That's impossible. Most likely, if he has a knife, you're going to get stabbed or cut. Most likely, if he has a gun, you're going to get shot. So, it's almost impossible to disarm someone who has a gun. Especially if 
they're standing at a distance where you can't reach them if they're saying, well, depends on the situation, but basically, I want to learn martial arts for self-defense to defend myself against danger. If people, also if they're bullies in life, people are trying to bully me, people are trying to beat me unnecessary, people are trying to start nasty fights with me. I want to be able to de-escalate fights and just end those fights in, in seconds. Be like, hey, yo, bro, I'm not the guy you want to be picking on. Pick on someone your own size. Pick on someone and you're only pick on someone else. Don't pick on me, please. I know that I've passed, I've gone past the age of, you know, going through bullying, all that bullying stuff. I, I, I got bullied a little bit when I was in elementary school, but it wasn't really like the most serious, most terrible bullying ever of all time. It's nothing like, you know, this dude I know, Kent TV, this dude, I used, this dude used to make videos about him getting rejected by a woman. Um, his name is Kent TV. You know, he's on YouTube. You can search up his videos. He talks about how when he was in elementary school, he got bullied. He got pushed around. People made fun of him. And people bullied him and put him down because he was little. And um, when I watched his videos, I felt really sorry for Kent TV. So I wasn't bullied to that extent, but I did get bullied a little bit. So... In the future, we don't have to worry about bullies that much. You know, that's the reason why self-defense is not like a big part of why I want to learn martial arts. You know, because in, most times in life, most people in this life, at least adults, they're mostly peaceful. They're rational. They think logically. They don't do stupid things like teenagers and little kids do to put other people down. Most adults are secure. They're not insecure like little teenagers that want to put other people down all because they're insecure. You know, most adults are peaceful, you know. So if I'm an adult, most likely I wouldn't have to encounter everyone who's violent or who's, you know, just wants to bully people. But if I do, I'm able to de-escalate that situation, de-escalate the situation and end whatever confrontation it is, you know. And how I'm going to end the confrontation is not with my fists, not with my legs, but with, with psychology, with the way I'm talking. If, you know, the thing I learned about Taekwondo and stuff like that is, and if you learn martial arts, there's certain martial arts where... You can use psychology, you can use your eye, move, eye movement, you can use body languages to de-escalate situations and stop a confrontation or fight from even happening in the first place. That's the reason why I like martial arts is because you can learn how to stop and de-escalate fights, de fights before they even get to happen, before they even start. You know, that's the reason why I like martial arts. The other reason I like martial, martial arts because the thing I mentioned earlier, yeah... You might get into a real fight. Some people may try to beat you up and take your stuff. They may not. They might not have guns, but if they have a knife, a knife is easier, I think, to disarm than a gun. Or if, a, if someone's holding a gun close to you, then you might be able to disarm or hold a gun like real close to you. Then you might be able to just like do quick and yeah. But that's but those situations are not that realistic. So it's best to just do what do what the attacker actually to do but if you he's trying to rape you or do anything you gotta defend yourself man you can't just say oh i'm gonna let you just i'd rather defend myself than get raped by an attacker that's the way i see it if he wants to rape me or tells me to pull down my clothes i'm gonna fight back i'm gonna just be like hell no you ain't you ain't doing nothing like i'm gonna fight back so that's how it's gonna be you know you know i'm not gonna let no attacker rape me you know might as well just fight back the attack fight back at the, at the attacker that's the way I see it, you know. So that's the reason why I want to learn martial arts to help me, you know, fight back against attackers, fight back against dangerous people, defend the people that I love, protect people that I love. You know, there's no martial arts system that can really teach you how to be Superman or Jackie Chan or, like, Batman or or Bruce Lee. Or, or you're going to be in those movies and you're going to be fighting 20, 35 guys. That's unrealistic. It can never happen in real life where you can fight 20 guys and you're going to win. 